Hello, I'm Noel Till. Welcome to Till Talk. Peregrination is endlessly fascinating. In fact, when I see a peregrine planet in my astrological workup preparation of a horoscope, I put an oval around it just by looking at the horoscope sheet. That piece of paper comes to life because I've put an oval around a planet that is going to probably dominate development in terms of the house it rules, the issues symbolized in that house. Jupiter Peregrine suggests, as all Peregrine planets must, making a lot of noise in a particular house with the issues of that house. If you have Jupiter Peregrine and it rules the seventh house, you're gonna be consumed, consumed with relationship significances. There's no doubt about it. They might get in the way of everything else. It has to be thought through in a balanced way. What is fair to the person? What is normal in the societal condition? Relationships are one thing. Obsessions are another. You get the feeling about the peregrination emphasis? With Saturn, peregrine, it's a reference to the Father, isn't it? It sure is. If it rules the second house, there are going to be self-worth issues about the relationship or lack of it with the Father. Trust me. Peregrine Uranus, what do you have to say about that? I hear something. I hear a bzzz of intensity. Running wild, perhaps, in the horoscope. That's Uranus. Listen to it. Bzz. Bzz. Without making a Ptolemaic aspect, it's going to dominate. I promise you. It's not snared. It's not tethered down. It's not anchored. It's just roaming. And the house issues of the house ruled by a peregrine Uranus are going to really be intensified. I promise you.